Hello. Oh my goodness. Well, it's the end of the day and this is when I have the least energy and I never post anything. Look at me. I'm in my, my robe because I'm about to go outside and get in that hot tub. I have done so much today. I've entertained friends and um, done eyebrows on my fun day Sunday. Um, I have cooked chicken and fried fresh redfish and onion rings and cheesy broccoli and I've um, put a dry rub on a whole slab of pork belly. I've marinated a salmon steak um, and something really cool is um, one of, you know, I love Brian Sebastian with movies, reviews, and more. I just love him. And one of the shows that we did was there was this really cool um, woman who who started a magazine, and it's On Boy Magazine, E N V O Y. I'll post links to it. Anyway, um, she's gonna write something in the in 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 you know her magazine a little something about Rachel's recipes. So, I'm going to post a link. I want everybody to, you know, make sure to subscribe and, and get in on this so you can have, you know, this and and you know, this is just part of watching Rachel's recipes grow, you know. It's you know, make sure that you know you get this and you'll have something and you can say one day, "Well, you know, I remember Rachel when she was, you know, just shooting videos in her kitchen and <laughs> she, <laughs> and look, here she is in Envoy magazine." So, yeah, exciting stuff. Um yeah. So anyway, yeah, so I I I I did, you know, did stuff for the that magazine feature today. I oh my goodness entertained the kids and um, friends like I said and you know what I'm just exhausted it's five o'clock having a little um, this is uh, today's well this cocktail is a coke zero with bourbon and lime so which is kind of nice at the end of the day anyway I'm I'm exhausted I'm it, all the doors are open it's gorgeous outside um, Cooper's already been swimming and playing basketball and all sorts of stuff with kids across the street. It's just, I'm done. This is like, okay, I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> Hot tub, nap, wake up, work out, do a few chores, and go to bed. And you know what? There's no more eating. <laughs> I'm done. I'm, I, you know, I've, yeah. I even had, we made homemade brownies. We're so supposed to, you know, it's just done. So, hey, also this week going to, um, I'm going, I'm going to pick up the boot guy um, maybe Thursday. And we're going to go out to that Warrington Junk Gypsy show. So look forward to that. I'll shoot some live um, videos out there. Um, cool people out there. Make sure if, you know, guys, if you're in Houston, you got to see this. This is a trip because people people come from all over the world to go to this junk gypsy show and it started I think this weekend. So, it goes on for 2 weeks and it's um, it's the coolest thing ever. It's like the, they take over like this like, you know, whole street is just, just so many people out there and it's crazy stuff, the cool stuff. I mean, not you can't just be anybody and get in there. So my friend Annette, she in the I think the centrally I don't know I could be wrong but I think centrally located is Punky's place and across the street Denver which is Dem everybody knows him as Denver Auto, and so my friend Annette is right next to Punky's place which you know how cool is that so anyway she does all these really cool Mexican beautiful I mean she's so talented she's one of these people. I feel like in life that it, it's like, it's like she's not going to get her recognition until like probably 50, 100 years after she's dead. You know what I mean? Like she's, it's pretty incredible. So I feel really fortunate that, you know, I've, I, you know, I have her in my life. She's actually one of, I consider her one of my best friends and she's crazy and cool and, you know, says stuff sometimes that just makes you like go, what? 
and I wouldn't have her any other way. Anyway, she's out there. So if you go out there, make sure to stop by and see her and um, you know, you'll definitely want to get something that she's got. Also make sure to go over to Denver's place across the street. He's got cool stuff. He also puts on the whole, this whole thing called like prom night or something. And it, you know, it's people dress up in these crazy costumes. I think this year it's like kimonos and um, Japanese kimonos and African something, Zulu African stuff. Anyway, also um, out there is there was a boot guy, Larry, um, who, 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 you know, he's the hat guy. I'm bringing the boot guy. So if you see me out there and you need some boots, I'll be with the boot guy and you know, you can, you can get hooked up with that. Um, yeah, Ellis Motel is Larry's, somebody that's like, I think it's, I don't know if it's Larry's grandkids or whatever, own the Ellis Motel, which is like a really cool spot out there. You can go get a little bourbon, have a drink. I mean, everything out there is just so cool. I mean, it, I kind of feel like, you know, this is how Austin started was, you know, really hip little stuff. Now I feel like Austin is, you know, it's like anywhere else. I remember when, when I used to, when I was a kid growing up, I remember going, my parents would take me to places like Mexico and Hawaii, Hong Kong. I was really lucky get I got to travel to some amazing places. But when I was going, it was really authentic and crazy and wild. And you know, the world gets so big and then it just becomes so commercialized. Um, but, so it's not the same. And every now and then you'll find a place. And I feel like when you go out to Warrington, I feel like it's kind of like one of those untouched gems where you can go out there and really you feel like you're in a cool spot today. But, you know, in another 10 years, it'll probably be, you know, commercialized too. So enjoy it while you can. Go out there. I think I'm going on Thursday. I'll keep you guys posted on when I'm going. And if you see me out there, make sure to say hi, guys. <sighs> Tomorrow's Monday. Yeah. So, off to the hot tub.